This was an academic uh, trial that was conducted in three European uh, countries, uh, Germany, Italy, and, and France. And the rationale is that um, there is no uh, available uh, disease-modifying treatment options in patients with proliferative uh, CMML. Most of these patients are not eligible for stem cell transplantation. And uh, actually, there was an old uh, randomized trial carried in the 1990s uh, showing that hydroxyurea um, was beneficial in this patient compared to other cytoreductive therapies. Um, nevertheless, in, in, over the last 10 to 15 years, we've been extensively using uh, hypomethylating agents in these patients, mostly in uh, retrospective studies or phase two studies. And thus, we, we aim to carry a prospective randomized comparison of the standard cytoreductive therapy with hydroxyurea with a single agent hypomethylating agent, and uh, namely um, decidabine. Uh, this was um, uh, a randomized trial focusing on proliferative CMML patients with advanced uh, disease based on myeloproliferative features or cytopenias or bone marrow blastings. So in total, there was 170 patients randomized one-to-one -to, -one to, to either arm. Um, the, the treatment um, was well balanced between, between the groups. And um, um, the, most, the first um, thing we noticed was that, as expected, uh, there was a higher response rate um, with the decidabine compared to hydroxyurea. Nevertheless, the primary endpoint of the study was uh, event-free survival um, defined as a death, transformation to leukemia, or progression of CMML. There was no difference um, between patients treated with decidabine and hydroxyurea with respect to the primary endpoint of event-free survival. Neither was there a difference in terms of overall um, survival. So we've inspected several reasons why this uh, could be, um, why patients that have a higher response rate with decidabine do not have a superior event-free or overall survival. The first um, explanation we thought we uh, sought was that um, roughly one third of patients with hydroxyurea uh, received uh, hypomethylating agents after exiting the study. Um, however, censoring for that uh, did not change our conclusion. So this is probably not the explanation. Another explanation could be that the benefit of, of decidabine is confined to a subset of patients. So we have a molecular analysis ongoing, uh, but using conventional scoring systems such as CPSS, there could be a slightly higher benefit of decidabine in patients with intermediate two or high risk CPSS, so patients with higher risk disease um, that were roughly two thirds of the included patients, but this did not reach statistical significance. So the last um, hypothesis that we are currently exploring is that um, the better disease control with uh, decidabine was offset by um, more frequent uh, adverse events and toxicity. Uh, there are signals for that that we are currently investigating. So I think the main conclusion from the Dakota trial is that it is feasible to conduct randomized trial in CMML uh, that has been an orphan myeloid neoplasms uh, uh, in that respect over the last uh, decades, though we must coordinate our efforts. We are convinced that hypomethylating agents are potentially a disease modifying agents, but they need to be combined with other agents uh, because they have a superior response rate uh, that should be translated into a survival benefit for these high risk patients.